I'm Chef Neil, Bite of Flow Chef. Welcome to the Keto Kitchen. We're going to make a really nice little salmon fish cake. So what I've been doing is I've been cooking off the celeriac in a little bit of boiling water. I've boiled it until it goes soft, and then I'm going to take it over, drain the excess liquid off, make sure I get every last little bit out. There we go. Put it into the blender. Then I'm going to add in the carb zero. I find this is the easiest way to make celeriac mash. Then take a little hand blender and just give it a little whiz. So I find it easier when I make mash to use the blender. Just make sure you get it all off the end of the blender. There we go, we've got a really lovely, nice, smooth celeriac mash. Make sure you get it all out of the bowl. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is heat the frying pan up, add a little oil into there, and then we're going to cook off the fish. There we are. Drop the fish into the pan and just cook it. As you're cooking it, just start to break it up because you don't want like large chunks in there as well. So, when I make these fish cakes, there's other fish I can use. I can use smoked haddock, I can use cod, yeah. But please make sure if you're going to add those fish into there, you calculate them on your EKM because they may have different fat contents in there as well. So, the reason why I'm chopping the fish up small is because I want to get it all the way through the fish cake. I don't want to have, like, have big bits of fish stuck in the cake, so if I can get it nice and small as we cook it, yeah, that's perfect for me. Push it into there, there we go. Now, I'm going to stir it in, there we go. Now if I was to put that into the mould, what would happen is it would just fall apart. So I've got some egg into there, make sure you weigh it out. There we go. And also, just to add a little bit more flavour, a little bit of mixed herbs goes into there and just stir it around. And what you end up with is a nice texture, like that. There you go. So there's your base of your fish cakes. Okay, now to cook the fish cakes, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a little scone cutter and then we're just going to fill fish cake keep pressing it down as you fill it up as well because you want it to have be quite tight in there so you just keep smoothing it out and pressing it down isn't that absolutely fantastic there we go what we're going to do now is just put piece of paper over the top, a little bit of grease paper. The reason we put over that, because I don't want a crispy top on the top of here. I want it to be nice and soft. I'm going to bake it in the oven for 25 minutes at 180. 